here with Eagles head coach coming off of the game today with Dixie State. Um, season finale on senior day. Joe, what do these seniors mean to you and how does it feel to say goodbye to them? It's always tough to say goodbye to them, Kelly. It, it, they put in a lot of time and a lot of effort for us and our staff and this university. I obviously have a lot of love for them and I'm not too manly to say that I love each and every one of them because anybody that's able to wear this uniform from day one until the last day of their career, it's a very difficult thing to do, but it's a very rewarding thing to do as well. And they have pride in being an Eagle, and forever they will be Eagles. Um, and that's special. They're going to be able to carry that with them for the rest of their life. And I'm going to be right there with them. Uh, like I told them, uh, thank you wasn't enough uh, to say to them. But I know um, as a staff, we couldn't be any more grateful to have them in our lives. We're grateful to their parents uh, for allowing them to come to this great university. They've done it right up to this point. Uh, many of them are graduating here in a few weeks, and uh, I know that they've left a positive mark on this university. They've left a positive mark on this team and this program, and especially my heart. Um, and I know each and every one of them, all 12 of them, are going to go into this world and leave a positive mark on this world uh, for however many days they have on this land. So. I'm very proud of them. They did everything possible to be successful this year. And like today, uh, in a close game, we just came up a little short. Uh, but it doesn't take away my feelings for these young men. They came in here maybe four, five, three, whatever it might have been years ago, um, maybe as young men or boys. And they're leaving now, I know, as men. And I'm proud of that, and I love them very much. All right, thanks, Joe. How does it feel? This was your first completed season as head coach for the Eagles. How does that feel to get that first season under your belt? And uh, what are your thoughts going into the off season um, headed into year two? Yeah, first year as head coach, you know, I never really thought um, as the year was going on that this was my first year or my 20th year or anything. Um, I just wanted to be the best I could be at the position that I'm in, try to prepare our staff to prepare these young men to the best of their ability uh, for our team. If you look at our record, most people would say that's a pretty disappointing season um, and have no idea that the areas that we were probably behind the eight ball a little bit. And uh, It was a fun season and a rewarding season. Um, knowing that this was, in a sense, our first season as a staff, uh, we'll always remember it. We'll always remember these guys because it was our first. I mean, moving forward, we've got a couple areas to clean up. Uh, on this year still. Uh, we'll, we'll do that this week coming up. We're still looking for uh, a few guys, uh, additions to our 2016 class. And I know with Coach Fahey's leadership, who's our recruiting coordinator, we'll meet those demands. Uh, next year's Eagles group, that 2017 Eagles group, is going to be very young, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next day or two with these guys and saying goodbye to them and saying thank you to them and then and then moving forward like we all do. Uh, I'm excited to continue to get better. I know we fell short in some areas. I know exactly where they are, uh, starting with myself. You know, and we'll, we'll get on those starting next week, uh, later in the week. All right. Thanks, Coach. We'd like to thank you for a good season. Um, and wish you luck going into the offseason. Hope uh, you enjoy your summer, and we'll see you next season. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. And I, pre I appreciate everybody that had a hand on this program. And uh, I haven't mentioned her name yet, but our trainer, uh, Justina Manio, she kept our team together when we had a lot of injuries. And uh, not many people could have done what she's done. So, Jess, if you watch this, thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Coach. See you next year. Thanks.